Hey Aries, welcome to your general love read, okay? For those of you that are new, I am an intuitive. Much of what you see on this channel will not be traditional. Take it as it resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? For those of you returning, thank you. I appreciate you. Remember that uh, roles could be reversed in a general reading. If you would like a personal reading, that link is down below in the description box. Okay, I will be taking the last week of the year off. Okay, so if you want to get in for a reading, you'll want to do that pretty quickly here. Also, um, if you would like to look at the decks that I've created, if you would like to look at the decks that I use, all of those links are down below, as is the karmic donation link. Okay, and um, the links for, I'm gonna stick the links for the Amazon pre-orders there, the paperbacks, you cannot do pre-order on paperback with Amazon, so those will just launch on the 22nd, and I will give everyone a big reminder, okay? So, for our collective, all right? So below, so above, grounding and the purple chakra energy. Okay, you're aligned. <laughs> you are so aligned, but try in this alignment to not control your heart space. Okay, let your heart space flow in this alignment, all right? You might be feeling um, like a lot of like back chakra energy. Okay, that's just what's coming to me. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on. We're using our best friend from way back in the beginning, Crow Tarot. And when I was talking to my daughter, when I just picked her up, uh, we had to stop at a store really quick. And I was telling her about the video that I just did that I uploaded, um, the book trailer for the shamanic book. And all of a sudden there was like 500 crows, like no joke, they were everywhere. <laughs> so they were just coming, right? My friendly neighborhood spirit totems, they were just coming to say, hey, bae, we love you. We're with you. Okay, all the way. So, all right, Aries. In the past, Ooh. and you do not like talking about that past, do you? Current energy, okay, and future possibilities. Okay, underneath the high priestess, okay? You may like know, you just know that love is in the air for you, okay? Or that someone specific is for you. And that could be part of why you're trying to control your heart, okay? Because maybe you're not getting <laughs> the response from this person that you would want and desire, all right? So, overview energy, the sun though, you are happy, right? You're still hanging on to that red ribbon. You're still hanging on to this deep soul connection. Um, even if you haven't met them, you are feeling it. You are holding on to it. You know that there is something for you. In the past, okay, Queen of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. You may have parted ways with someone because it just wasn't stable. Okay, you may have chosen something stable. You may have set down boundaries and been like, you know, I don't, I don't deal with cray cray. Okay. Um, it may have just been too much for you. Current energies, the sun and the ace of wands right here. It doesn't get any better. Okay. You are about to attract a ton of abundance. All right. With the actions that you're taking right now, future possibilities though, two of swords, five of swords, five of pentacles. Okay. It's almost as if by refusing to allow, I feel like the, the wheel to turn, they're showing me wheel of fortune, even though I don't have it here. It's almost like, regardless of that, okay, like there's just a lot coming up for you. Like you cannot choose and spirit is like five of swords, five of pentacles, right? Like you're going to push our agenda through one way or the other, if you don't keep moving. Okay. So let's go ahead and 
let's clarify, okay? Tell me about the sun. Thank you. Okay, King of Pentacles. And King of Pentacles is not quite happy, okay? Kind of hiding behind um, this, this hidden wall. You could be dealing with someone that has a wall of debt, okay? A wall of woes in money. And you don't see it because that's not part of your world, right? And they're in my head now singing Ariel. I want to be a part of your world, right? Like this person really would like to be a part of your world, but they are struggling. Okay. Five of Pentacles. The truth is, is I feel like it hasn't been that long since you went through your own issues. It may not have been monetary. It could have just been like emotional, but it was definitely, shh. Oliver, he doesn't like that. Hey, do you want to go? I'm going to send you out. That's your father. Don't bark at your father. Okay. All right, mister. Come on. Out you go. Come on. You going to go? Get. Go. Get. No? Well, then you have to be good. Aries doesn't want to listen to you and your mouthy mouth. No. Sorry. Um, I feel like it was like emotions because she's all red here. Like she's just been crying her heart out. Okay. And maybe this person is hiding this because they don't want to put that on your shoulders. They know what they've already done to you okay or what you've been through knight of pentacles okay there could be i'm almost picking up on an energy here of a third party that's kind of in control of the money okay could be a soul connection here that's really keeping this person like they're their little, they keep calling it their little wheelhouse. Like, only come around when I want you to. Sort of an energy. Keeping them stagnant. Okay. Now, in the past, Queen of Swords. Okay. The white Newman in reverse. Yeah. Okay. I feel like you were seeking emotions and you were not getting any, okay? And it just wasn't equal. It was not an equal partnership, okay? And the seven of cups in reverse. I feel like this was a cycle that went around and around and around. And you just kind of said, enough is enough. I'm getting something stable here. Okay, four of wands. You could have connected with a, a different soulmate. Okay, or maybe you went back to a soulmate connection because it was stability, right? Ten of pentacles, four of wands. The devil I know instead of the devil I don't. Okay. Current energy here is ace of wands. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, again, you are coming into, whether you are masculine or feminine, doesn't matter, okay? But if you see yourself as really having put in the time and the work, you're coming into abundance, okay? And a lot of it. And you've used your mind, you've used your brain, right? You've worked through healing all of this heart energy to get there, okay? Judgment. Again, I feel like this is spirit saying, okay, don't try to control your heart with your head. All right, that is not how it works out for our best interest. We really need to keep on this path of being abundant, right? The magician, 
what is meant to be manifested for you will, right? Just keep going. Underneath here, we've got six of pentacles, right? It's almost as if someone is about to kind of cleanse themselves and come in. And maybe that's why you feel that soulmate energy, okay? Now, I do feel like the two of swords again, five of swords, five of pentacles, future possibilities is only going to happen if you stubbornly refuse, okay, to choose. Okay, two of swords here. Knight of Wands. Okay, again, it is a stubbornness to move forward and trying to reclaim the fire of the past. Okay, Five of Swords here with the Ten of Wands. Right, the more you try to think things through and try to think of how to work with somebody else and, and how to you know, support somebody else instead of being on your own path, right? The more that the snakes come in and you are burdened, okay? Five of pentacles, ten of pentacles, okay? It's like you feel badly for doing so good. Okay, again, look at this tree. Like, there's, look, all the success, right? And then down here, nothing. Don't feel okay. badly for your successes, okay? Underneath this all, two of wands, I feel like the person you're dealing with, they have their own choices to make here, okay? You have to let them make it here, this hermit energy, right? Let them realize their own path. You cannot control another human being, okay? Let's dig a little bit deeper. Okay, tell me about King of Pentacles here. Three of Cups in reverse. Okay, I feel like this person is crying a river. All right, over having not chosen you. Okay, or having chosen having chosen the path that they are on. Okay, five of pentacles here. Ace of wands. Right, there's a realization that they've blocked things. I feel like by thinking that. Happiness is a sexual connection and not a heartfelt connection, okay? All abundance comes from the heart space. So if you're trying to, I'm sure there's sexual magic, right? But if you're trying to create abundance and you're going against your heart and thinking, right, sexually about things, you don't end up like it blocks you, right? It keeps you in this stagnant energy. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, Three of Wands. Again, this person, right, you can see here, this bowl, you can't see their eyes, right? Okay, and here we're being poisoned with what we see as our path forward. This person doesn't get to see their path forward. They're controlled. Okay. In the past, it was imbalanced. All right. Yeah. There was no way, two of wands here, that there was anything that could grow out of this the way it was in the past. Okay. It had to die. It was toxic. Okay. Whatever you were dealing with here in the past, it was toxic. Four of wands here. Okay, four of wands in reverse with the nine of swords. Okay, in your head, you're already was you were already gone from this. Whatever you stuck with with stability. If this was about a job, you were already working on this money up here, right? This is about love. You had already clocked out, but you stayed because it was the healthier solution. Okay. Current energy, Queen of Pentacles. K, 
okay, the Empress, right? You're gonna have so much bounty. It's just gonna keep multiplying, like you're creating an empire here, okay? It's a very beautiful energy, all right? Judgment, Three of Pentacles. Protect your empire, okay? Don't let others come in trying to feed off of it. Okay, the Magician. Seven of Cups in reverse. All right, you wait for what feels light and right, okay? Don't take something just because you have this hole that you've cleared the energy out of, right? And now it feels uncomfortable, okay? To get to a place of building like this, you had to clear out a lot of stagnant energy. And so here's the deal, right? When you clear out all of that energy, having that empty space does not feel comfortable. And that's where the classification of empath comes from because you're sensitive to energy. You feel everyone else out there that has the same wounds that you've healed. And you connect with that because you want to Fill that hole back up. Don't fill that hole back up. Let it be empty. Okay, emptiness creates space for what we really want, need, and desire, right? The emptier we feel in there energetically, right? Like we've cleared out all the bad energies, we're more flowing and aligned. Okay, so Knight of Wands. Six of Pentacles, okay? I feel like you want to go back to a time when there was equal give and take. There was equal give and passion, okay? Ten of Wands, okay, the Tower. But for right now, you can't. This person has to go through their shitstorm, okay? You don't want to get involved in that mess. All right, believe me, you do not want to get involved in that mess. Okay, three of pentacles here. Five of pentacles in reverse. And the eight of swords in reverse. Okay. This person wants to use their heart to pull you into their world and help them break free from where they're at, okay? They need to do that work themselves. That is not for you to do, okay? Bottom of here, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. You just keep focusing on your empire, all right? It is not your job to clean things up for someone else, okay? So, let's pull a few oracle cards here. Okay, support again, right? You can support someone with all the love and kindness that you want, but do not let it come from almost like a narcissistic like pull on your heart. Okay, and it may be an old narcissistic trigger, okay, that's coming up for you with all of this. Okay, courage and growth. It takes courage for you to be the master of your domain and to allow yourself to be like, yes, okay, I have hit this high pinnacle and be happy with that and be grateful with that, okay? And know that, right, others are going to grow at different paces. And that's not your, that's not for you to decide, okay? So, how did this lunar to solar eclipse affect all of this? A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. I feel like the new moon triggered this person really in massive ways to realize, again, like I made the wrong choice. Like I really effed up, okay? I 
should be with my Aries, okay? But it's not your job to balance things out for them, okay? Keep that in mind. Okay, links, keeper of secrets. Again, I feel like this person is keeping secrets, okay? They may come to you and burden you with their secrets, okay? Asking you to keep them. Okay, Orca Well Adventure. Some of this adventure is not meant for you two to be together, right? You can be in the ocean of emotion together, but maybe part of this is not meant to be together. Okay, dare to do things differently. Stay or not stay, sing. Sing your wild song, manifest your travel dreams, right? Okay, I feel like you may even be traveling with some of this empire that you are building. Don't let this person keep you from all of this beautiful energy that you're creating. They can catch up, okay? But they have to do the work in order to honor it, right? If you're just given things, you don't you usually don't have honor for it. All right, so I hope this helps you, Aries. I hope you have a beautiful week, and I will see you next time. All right, much love. Bye.